dear students welcome to tips tips for post graduates which means text and pathology for students mainly post graduates in this topic we shall be dealing with microtomes it shall rather be an introduction to microtomes let us see what we are having for the day the definition it is a mechanical device used for cutting thin and uniform histological or histopathological sections i repeat it is a mechanical device used for cutting thin uniform histological or histopathological sections what is required will be a good supporting medium which means paraffin wax with or without additives what is required for having any equipment will be a thorough knowledge of the equipment and its applications second a good practical experience these are the words of culling and he goes on to say that in no other field is such a manual dexterity needed and this can be attained only through practice what are the basic types or fundamental types of microtomes we should know that there are basically five types of microtomes one is a rocking microtome a rotary microtome a sliding microtome a sledge microtome and a freezing microtome this today has been incorporated in the cryostat so these are the five types of microtomes let us see what we are having whenever we are to learn microtomy these steps have been suggested first practice on soft tissues such as liver and kidney go on to ribbon sections which are about 4 to 6 microns in thickness then to difficult tissues such as skin or breast and finally decalcified bone this should be the sequential order of practice do not worry about speed not only in microtomy for that matter in any technique speed will come to you automatically the rocking microtome each of these i have tried to download the best of pictures i would like the students to carefully follow and apply the description onto the pictures this is a cambridge rocking microtome in this case the knife is fixed in the picture i am not able to see the knife this is the knife holder the block moves in an arc like fashion so this is the block holder and it moves in an arc like fashion and it is maneuvered by a micrometer thread operated by a ratchet so this is the micrometer thread over here which is again operated by a ratchet there are two arms which are called the cross arms and they keep rocking hence the name the rocking microtome all have been labeled over here it should not be difficult so i got a pivot over here which is holding on one arm there is another upper arm a b is the lower arm e is the string that we have been talking about r is the ratchet wheel and d is supposed to be the block holder over here and c is the space for the knife so these are the parts of it they have been given in the legend below i would like you to follow this particular microtome is used for serial sections large paraffin blocks could be cut designed by paldwell travel in 
and the knife that was been used was only the heifer knife the advantages of this is it has got a heavy base two arms and the lower arm rests on a pivot see the pivot over here and the lower arm is resting on it it is attached to a micrometer screw it has got a rod and wheel mechanism the upper arm carries the block holder look at the upper arm over here i bring it straight and this is the block holder over here and all this are connected by means of an nylon thread so this will be a rocking micro tom quite unlikely that you people will be seeing it in your present or past this is a higher magnification of it so the knife holder is over here and then there is a block holder the block moves against the fixed knife the lever is pulled forward and it is brought in contact with the ratchet wheel there is a millihead screw that i had showed earlier upper arm and the lower arm and the block moves towards the knife when the pressure is released it moves upwards the spring causes the upper arm to return over here what are the advantages of the rocking micro tom you can cut sections of small blocks sometimes larger blocks also can be cut the mechanism is simple it rarely gives mechanical trouble unicam is another company that defined it or designed it and it has been used for flat sections earlier the cambridge sections were a little bent or in an arc like manner whereas here it is flat sometimes frozen section also were being cut through this for emergencies and because of the steady movements and additives to wax you can cut ribbon sections also so these are all some of the advantages of a rocking micro tome first know that there is a device called the rocking micro tome so there are the two arms which are rocking and hence the name there is a block holder then the knife is over here and these are all advantages the disadvantages sometimes the block size is limited very large blocks may not be cut sections can be curved particularly when you use the cambridge version and it must be fitted on to a bench by means of screws otherwise there can be vibrations i mentioned earlier that a frozen section can be done for which a knife freezing attachment is required and the slides will have to be transferred immediately this is the next one the first one is the rocking micro tome this is the rotary micro tome this picture has been given purposely or deliberately look at the age old machine spencers was one of the companies and then it was designed by one professor minot and hence it was called as minot rotary micro tome rotary in action there is an adjustment which moves hence the name rotary and as this rotates you find that the block holder moves forward and it moves up and down against a fixed knife the block holder it can be in steel and it is attached to a carriage that is behind this therefore it moves up and down look at this particular picture a beautiful one designed by picasso a young lady once met picasso and then asked him please draw a beautiful picture of me though picasso was supposed to be very busy he obliged took a piece of paper and then drew a picture gave it to him and he asked for a million dollars the lady was shocked if you have got any doubt you can go and verify and then she took it to the art gallery and where when it was auctioned it went for a million dollars so she came back running how is it possible to teach me the art i will also learn i will also learn 
but then dear students teaching like what picasso has done comes with a lot of effort sweat practice and perfection all of us will not be a picasso so coming back to this one this is about the rotary microtome which we are continuing look at the much better version of it definitely this is more pleasant to the eyes than what i had shown you earlier so in this one i am seeing that there is a block holder which can be tightened by means of the screws there is a knife the angle of which can be adjusted and this itself is supposed to be a moment for the knife and this can be fixed on to it the instrument per se is quite heavy and sturdy therefore vibrations are minimal this is a picture of the fine adjustment usually this is in you set it for so many micron and whenever one particular revolution or rotation is complete it moves through that many microns so again a diagrammatic view of it the block holder is here the knife is over here and the block moves up and down this is the fine adjustment this is a coarse adjustment sometimes the block will be far behind and in order to bring it forward we will be moving this simultaneously so that the block holder comes forward otherwise you will have to keep on rotating it throughout the day moving it by microns and when you cut the sections this is how it comes sometimes because of the heat generated there can be ribbon sections which are possible this picture is of paramount importance i would like you people to follow this meticulously in fact you might be asked questions on this when you cut the sections so this is a very sturdy rotary microtome a modern version from the leica there are other companies also and there are two versions of it one can be semi automatic the other is automatic automatic means there is a motor that is attached and once you switch it on it moves through that distance nothing great about it coming back to this one as i told you it is very sturdy there is a fine adjustment over here a is for the fine adjustment and when you move it or rotate it it moves by around say 4 microns or 5 microns whatever has been set in this the distance that is needed is set in this particular one and that is e c is the folder we have been talking about the tissue block is kept over here and there will be the screws on all sides which can be used for adjusting tightening it as well as adjusting it b something that we don't see in this it is on the other side where we will be having the coarse adjustment where it moves further and faster so initially the coarse adjustment is done and is fixed you go in for the fine adjustment this is a knife with a knife holder over here there will be screws over here to tighten it fix it at a particular angle and this itself has got a separate holder which will be moved in the as a sledge against this so you will have to make the knife adjustment and there is a knife stage that is over here so all these things you people will have to be e is the adjustment for the thickness for example if you want thickness of 5 microns it is over here trimming you want a thickness of 10 microns it is over here all this can be done and then everything is taken care of hence it is semi automatic this is what we do not see on the inside i find so this is an adjustment i have been talking about and this is another adjustment which is for the varying thickness this is the back side of the tissue holder and here you find that once there is a movement it moves this wheel and which pushes the block holder forwards that is the basic mechanism these numbers you people need not bother about it is not to scale over here and this is the turn wheel over here this is for the fine adjustment on the other side we'll be having the force adjustment please remember this not very simple but not very com complex either 
so this has been used for ages and ages so what are the advantages of the rotary microphone it is heavier and more stable no vibrations cuts flat sections no arc like sections thin sections and ribbon sections can be cut so we will be talking about the advantages of each in fact we had mentioned ribbon section means serial sections so we do not miss even one particular detail larger blocks can be cut for example an entire enucleated eyeball can be cut by this the cutting angle can be adjusted and there are also less vibrations in the knife it can cut larger blocks such as the eyeball the disadvantages are nowadays we are using disposable blades which are prone for vibrations hence they should be well fixed second one is the block is moving against the knife therefore there is a danger of damaging or cutting our fingers it is more expensive and technical precision is required in fact what we had cut in our sections and our colleges have been very well appreciated and the slides taken by the external examiners this is the third type of microtome we are going to talk about it is called a sledge microtome sometimes it is much larger they call it a base sledge microtome originally it was devised for cutting very large tissues i'll show you a tissue of it and it was popular since the second world war and there is a block holder over here on a steel carnage the entire thing is a steel which can be there for a long time and the slides can be moved rather the instrument can be moved front and back so there is a knife over here and there is a block holder it moves against the knife it derives the name from the sledge pulled by the huskies in the antarctica designed by them in 1789 base sledge it has got some pillars on it a similar design is over here it is used for cutting celloid in sections chuck and block holder in heavy metal base and the base move the sledge microtome what are its advantages and disadvantages any microtome you people are supposed to mention the advantages and disadvantages advantages are mainly this very very large sections can be cut and this was first used by guff and mentors in uh, demonstrating emphysema specimens in the entire lung heavy very stable no vibrations the knife holding clamps are also adjustable and varying sizes can be cut in wood or paraffin wax paraffin and celloid in embedding sections can also be used so these are some of the advantages of the sledge microtome the disadvantages are it is very slow but as mentioned in one of the first slides the speed can improve with experience and a freezing provision can also be attached to it hence but not recommendable it may be used as a freezing microtome work for perfection not for appreciation great words and this is what i mentioned as the guff went work sections so this will be asked or when you people mention it in emphysema you score a mark for it it is designed for cutting very large blocks entire brain or the entire surface of the lung can be demonstrated and such sections are mounted between two thin plates of glass in fact such a one is available in gipmer museum and it was designed by these people guff and ventus heavy and stable no vibrations very thin but then it is slow than rotary celloid in sections can be cut though the entire lung is cut the 
thickness will be around 10 microns still it is demonstrable for the entire section this is a closer view of it a base sledge microtome you people can appreciate how sturdy it is how thick it is and as usual there is a block holder over here and then there is a knife holder over here so this is a block it is kept and it moves in a sledge like manner cutting it so the same thing over here look at the tissue that is placed on the top this is a knife over here and it slides against it so it is a sledge microtome similar to something that is seen here the sliding microtome is microtome is another modification of it in which you find that the knife moves in an arc like manner against a fixed block and because of this you find that the section will be a little arc weight in arrangement celloid in embedding sections can be used for it sliding microtome please do mention it is heavier and more stable than a rotary microtome complex in design expensive used for cutting small and large blocks the knife position is quite dangerous and there can be damage to the technician ultra thin sections can be cut for cryostat and here again there is a provision for attaching the freezing microtome device sections are thicker 10 to 12 microns and they are cut in an arc like manner so it is a disadvantage but it is simple not very costly the freezing microtome over here and in this particular case ether has been used as a spray to provide the freezing the freezing microtome earlier it was used for the same purposes for a rapid diagnosis for the demonstration of fat when the patient is on the operating table etc so instead of the paraffin wax it can be the ice or ether that is providing the mechanical support to the tissue block this is a very nice set of diagrams over here this is a block holder where the tissue block is placed and this is a knife holder the angles of it can be changed and these are the clamps for holding the knife and i find that there is a tube also this tube is for a carbon dioxide cylinder and the carbon dioxide is supposed to freeze this particular region so it becomes mechanically sturdy also you find a similar provision can be for the knife also making it somewhat cool the same thing over here the block holder and there is a carbon dioxide it comes from a cylinder or a container there is a tube over here used for the freezing microtome and as a principle you find that the knife moves against the fixed block and hence there will be arc like sections which are cut the risks are accidents not by mechanical cutting but then because of the cylinders there can be great damage and the sections will be thicker than 5 microns and it should not be dismantled in a hurry once the procedure is over great care should be done these are all some of the risks and disadvantages in this and it is used for cutting the frozen section i have shown you the various parts of it and the valve that can be used and the parts have been mentioned here there is a wooden framework there is a block holder carbon dioxide cylinder with a screw and then there is a knife that is here so this is another version of the freezing microtome earlier designed but probably these are all of antique value today since we have got the cryostat the cryostat will be dealt with in detail at a later class so these are the list of microtomes that i had mentioned we had seen the rotary microtome the sledge microtome the base sledge microtome the freezing microtome and anything else that i missed 